Wheels up! Gareth Wheeler with you. We're at the final game week of the Premier League season in Spurs. They're within touching distance of a top four finish and Champions League football next season. All they need to do is go to Carroll Road and beat lowly Norwich City. Or they could come away with a draw. That's fine too. They can't be this Spursy, can they? To throw this chance away. Well, the line suggests no as Norwich City is significant home underdog here, plus 1,100 for the home win, minus 435 for a Spurs away victory, plus 550 on the draw. The total goals is set at 3-3.5, three, three minus 115 for the over, minus 105 for the under. My top play here, both teams to score at minus 108, and if you're really into Spurs in this one, how about both teams uh, to score combined with the Spurs win at plus 160. Look, Spurs have a vastly superior goal differential than Arsenal heading into the weekend. Uh, plus 15, they're two points up on Arsenal, so a draw will do in this game. Christian Romero, their top center back, still a big injury doubt. That needs to be into, taken into consideration. Spurs, although they picked up points in their last three away games, they've had a worse XG in each and every one of those games than their opponent. Liverpool, Villa, Brighton. North City is far worse than any one of those sides, but still something to take a look at. Harry Kane, Son, both of them have been on absolute fire. They've combined to score the last eight goals. But there's no value there in a Son or Harry Kane goal at minus 175 and minus 165, respectively. What I am taking a closer look at is the XG for both these teams in terms of their home and away form. North City somehow have only scored 12 goals all season at Carroll Road, but their XG is much higher at 18 and a half. Spurs away have only conceded 21, a very good uh, record in terms of conceding goals away from home in 18 games, but their expected goals against is closer to 27. There's room for some regression to the mean or progression when it comes to Norwich City. This is their final home game in the Premier League, by the way. That has to mean something for the Canaries. Even if they're down 4-0, they can still go out and get a goal and give their fans something to cheer for as they'll be down in the league championship for who knows how long after this. They haven't scored in their last two games at home either. They're due. Uh, over their last seven games, they've been better from an XG percentage uh, perspective. They have a superior XG than Manchester United, than Leeds, Southampton, Wolves, among others. They haven't picked up a clean sheet in their last six games because they're dreadful defensively, but I do think they can create something in attack. If you're looking for a North City goal scorer, Timu Puki would be the play. He scored eight goal, or sorry, 11 goals in the season. At plus 210, there's some value there because no other North City player that's playing this weekend has scored more than one goal in the season. And head-to-head -head between these two sides, three of the last four games, both teams have scored. So both teams have scored at minus 108. It's a decent play for me. Even Spurs to win this game and both teams to score at plus 160. There's some value there as well.